welcome to the first Programming with Data Lab. Today we'll see how we can install and configure an SQL Server. Then we'll see how we can actually connect and run simple commands. Right, so I am in my Google Cloud platform. I already redeemed my coupon. And the first thing to do is to find the SQL. So type here SQL at the top on the search bar and click on the SQL. You will see here that you need to activate your billing account. So you will select billing account for education. And this actually links to the $50 coupon that we received from Google in the previous video. All right, so let's just create our first SQL instance. So click on create instance and select MySQL. Now we will have to select an instance name. I will call it PWD SQL and I will have to create a password. The password will help me to connect remotely to the SQL Server. In our case, I will just create a simple password and one to nine. Um, then MySQL 8 is selected as a version. I will click on the development. That is a more light environment for us to create. Then I will just leave it as it is. I will close this small window here and I will say create instance. Now click on it and the instance will start uh, to be created and it will need a couple of minutes in order to be ready for us to access it. So wait until this is completed and wait until you receive a message here that says that the instance has been created. Okay, so I think the instance is already created. You can see here I have a message that the, there is a backup that will be created. So what I will do, I will open my cloud shell now and I will try to connect to this instance. A couple of things that we need to remember and information that we need to find here is the public IP address of the instance that you can see it here and the connection name that exists here. We will use the connection name in order to connect to our instance. So click on the cloud cell and the cloud cell will open here. It will take a minute or so. So the first time you set up these things, uh, it might take some time. But after this, it should be fine and you can do it faster. In any case, the instance, when it is ready, you will see that the instance is ready now. You can see here that it's runnable. Okay, I can stop and start it whenever I need. That will do it after. All right, so let me increase the size a little bit here. And as I said before, we need to connect to the instance. This is the instance IP address if I need to connect remotely. And this is the connection name if I need to connect from the cloud cell. Now, I will connect first time for the cloud cell. So I will just bring back my tutorial and I will run my first command that says configure this project. I will just copy this one from here, paste it here to be the project of this one. This is the name of your of your project. So click on the project and you will see this is the cloud class in our case, for my case, for example. Uh, for you, it could be uh, the, your first project. OK, you can copy this one. Copy, copy and then cancel it and just paste it here. I think I didn't leave a space, so I will leave my space here and I will just press enter. OK, it will say authorize cloud cell and I will say yes, I will authorize cloud cell to access my project and everything. It should be fine now. So again, you paste this command here that says uh, I want to set up a project this in my case called cloud class. OK. If I go back here, let me connect now to the server. So I will say gcloud SQL connect space, the name of your instance that my case is PWD SQL is the name that I put here space the name of your user so for example here it says the user is root in any case I have only one user called root now uh, before I connect I can go here on the left side click on the users and I can see here I have a root user if I want I can create another user all right but in any case I can use the, the root user to connect for these tutorials so press enter it says here, would you like to connect? Yes, I will type Y and press enter. Now it will start enabling some services in order to connect to the SQL Server using the cloud cell. Now we will have to wait for a minute or so again for the connection to be established through this security layer that goes from the cloud cell to the Google Cloud. 
and I hope you remember your password because we'll need to use the password now in order to connect to the instance. Okay, so to connect to the instance, I will just have to type my password. Please note that while you're typing, you don't see anything. Okay, I just type it, you don't see uh, wildcards or anything, right? Just press enter. And if you do it correctly, you can see that your MySQL is now activated. I can increase my window now. And this is my SQL. MySQL is up and running and on, is running on the Google Cloud Platform. I can run my commands and keep everything here well organized. Now, if I bring back my tutorial, in this case, I will just put it on the right side and I will start putting my VM on the left side. Maybe I can reorganize a little better here. And um, I would have to follow the tutorial from the right side and see how I can actually start interacting with uh, SQL Server. For example, if I click here, um, I can press uh, Control and L to clear the screen. Control and L, okay? Yeah, I can clear my screen, I can start with a fresh screen. So, databases and the semicolon presenter. You can see here the database. These are pre-installed and pre-configured for you, okay? Um, in any case, I will create a new database and use it, and then I should use only my own databases. For example, here in question number five, it says create a new database called FilmDB. All right, so I have to type here create a database called FilmDB, and then don't forget the semicolon and then press enter. Every time you create something, you don't really see an output, maybe you see something like uh, okay, that means that everything has been created okay. If I need to use this database, I will just type use database uh, film db and the same column, and I can actually use this one. Yeah, in our case, I just did a small typo. It's supposed to be use the database name, and you should be fine. For this tutorial, I will stop here. You will have to continue from 7, and you will see everything here, right? Just to bring back my commands, I can press the up arrow button. And I can see the previous commands. So I use database, or maybe I can see the databases. I will say that the FilmDB already exists here now. Okay. So what I will do now, I will just increase my window. And I would recommend you to follow this format, right? So organize your computer on the left side, the terminal, or the right side, the tutorial. Keep notes if you want, and it should be uh, easy to follow the tutorial. Now, let me increase the window here and maybe decrease this one. Okay. As I said before, I can press Ctrl and L to clear my terminal here. I can exit my um, SQL, just type in exit if I want. In any case, I can just close it and that should be fine. Let's close the cloud cell. Now, on the SQL, I can go to the overview and I can stop my server. I can click stop. So every time you finish the tutorial, stop the server. When you start the server again, you will have everything there. You will have your databases, your data, everything you did. And also in the cloud cell, you will have access to the previous commands. You do that, you have to press the up arrow button. In any case, you will have everything in the tutorial, so you can always go back and find out what you did before. So when the VM will be stopped, you will see here again a start button so you can actually start it it says the instance is now stopped and you can actually start if you want clicking the start button again you will start it just click and you say yes i want to start and then it, when it starts it will take less time because the first time we started we actually created it so in this case uh, it will take less time but in any case we have always to wait for this to be ready for us to access it and when you see here your instance is up and running, you are always good to go. And yeah, that would be all for the first um, tutorial. I hope you are ready now to start working with your SQL queries and please make sure you always stop the server whenever you finish your tutorial. I will see you soon in class. Thank you.